throw some code and enroll, you should have gotten a login for it. So we can help you get there. And if you don't have a login, then we can help you get to the activity anyway. On this bright and early Saturday morning, these young girls are entering the computer coding world. It's a new club at the University of Arizona that's helping girls from 8th to 12th grade tap into new skills. Coding is a complicated formula that makes a computer run, a challenge these girls are ready to face. Girls Who Code is a national organization um, that aims to address the gender gap in technology by getting girls involved in coding um, from a young age. Uh, for, I think, I don't know, this is Wikipedia. Portia is a student from Bases Oro Valley. Because of her interest in coding, she wanted to find girls with similar interests. This 12-year-old says she's entirely self-taught. For Christmas, like, dad, my dad got us the computer. It's in that I like, tried, tried, tried it, and I used books and like to read and stuff. And I've read about coding, too, so it's pretty cool. I've like learned about it just from stuff around. Here, Portia finds role models who can help her achieve her goals. I really just appreciate that they're spending their time to help teach other like younger girls to learn how to code. I just think that's awesome. Cassidy Martin volunteered to teach the girls because she didn't have this opportunity when she was a kid. So I wish I had started earlier and had the opportunity to experiment with it and learn different things and kind of experiment and see what I want to do. I'm still figuring it out and I'm already like almost graduated. I just want for other people to try it and then maybe they'll end up loving it and they'll start early and have more time to explore it. It's so cute! This is awesome. Making connections, feeding off each other's energy, that's exactly what the program coordinators want to see. One of the things that research has shown time again about computer science as well as other STEM fields is that one of the reasons that there is a gender gap is because girls don't get involved in these fields and in these activities as early as boys do. So when they enter the college environment, they're already starting behind. Getting them started early so that they feel confident in those classes when they enter is definitely a really important step to closing the gender gap. In the 1980s, women represented the majority of those pursuing a computer science degree, but it's since dropped drastically. In 2010, less than 18% of women studied computer science, and as of 2012, 27% made up the work field. So we've seen this dramatic downturn in women participating in computer science fields. So I think when we see those numbers, it challenges us to ask a lot of questions and to be curious about those disparities, and then to figure out how to create more welcoming environments for young women. The hope is that this club gives girls the friendship, the skills, and most importantly, the confidence to succeed. It's a safe place so they can come and experiment without fear of like seeming like they're stupid if they make mistakes. In this place, everyone's starting pretty fresh, and there's no judgment if you don't get the topic right away. It's very self-paced, and you learn from people who are, have been in the exact same place you've been. An equal number of volunteers and participants, these girls are getting one-on-one -on -one help. It's a give-and-take relationship for all. It's a learning experience for us because we get to learn how to convey topics to other people and how other people learn, but we also learn new coding languages. So I get to learn new stuff along with the girls. For girls like Portia, this club does more than program computers. It's about exposure, learning something new. I think that'd be great if more girls could come and like learn how to code, and it's just fun to try it out. In this room, the next generation of female computer scientists are just getting started.